Hey guys, this is Andrew here with VR Source. We recently had the opportunity to check out Intel's new Project Alloy. So what exactly is Project Alloy? Basically, it's a powerful gaming PC and a VR headset all in one single device. This is quite a bit different than what you'd get with like the Rift or the Vive, uh, which both require you to tether them to a high-end PC. In contrast, Intel's Alloy headset brings you everything you need to complete to have a complete VR experience. It's 100% portable. Uh, all the hardware, including the battery, strapped to your head. Uh, this might sound like it'd be really heavy, but actually, I found it to be pretty comfortable. Um, a little heavier than what you get with the, like the Vive, but certainly not like a deal breaker when it comes to weight. All right, so the way that this works is Intel actually tracks you and other objects around you uh, using these uh, real sense camera technology. Basically, that means that you don't need separate sensors like you would with other devices or light boxes. Uh, in the demo I was playing, I was fighting zombies and uh, I found that the tracking system was pretty solid throughout the whole thing. Um, you know, when I go to shoot, uh, there'd be some slight issues where I felt like, like the gun wasn't right where it should be, but it was pretty minor. Um, as you might imagine, the graphics here aren't as good as you'd get with like PlayStation VR or the Vive or the Rift. Uh, but I'd say they're a pretty solid step above what you'd get with like Daydream or you know the Gear VR. Not just because the graphics are a bit better, but also just the polish of having that better tracking. It's also worth noting that uh, the headset's actually capable of mixed reality, giving you both VR and AR in the same headset. Uh, though the demo I tried actually didn't show off any of that. All in all, I'd say that Project Alloy is it's actually an interesting look at the future. I believe that untethered, unleashed VR is going to be the way things are, but it's obviously very much in the developmental phase still. And so it'll be quite a while before you see something like this in the market. Uh, even when it is ready, I would imagine it's more likely that Intel would partner with other companies than build this themselves. So that was our first look at Intel's Project Alloy. Um, be sure to stay tuned to VR Source, your source for all kinds of reality.